Hello and welcome to the channel. My name is Rusty B and this is the Heli Haven. It's a solo duo bunker base with 360 degree peaks. You could probably fit a trio in here, but it may be a tight squeeze. Let's go inside and start looking at the base and I'll take you for a tour. We'll start by going into the entrance which is on the third floor and going down this ladder hatch. We're now in the second floor which is surrounded by garage doors, lots of storage, your tier 2, a turret and there doesn't seem to be a way down to the first floor. But this is where the bunker comes into play. You need to place a roof on this square here and this floor should open up. That'll lead us downstairs into the bottom floor. Once again, it's surrounded by garage doors. You can fit your tier 3 in here with a box underneath, there's four furnaces and a vending machine for extra loot. Your TC is placed in the back triangle that loops all the way around all these garage doors. You can place lanterns next to the TC or a small box just for some extra storage. There's a half wall and a floor here with three shotgun traps which are extremely hard to get to if someone does try to come and loot these boxes or the TC. Now let's get back up to the top floor. So by your entrance this is also wrapped around with garage doors. I like to put a mixing table and my bedroom at the top of this. You can add a few small boxes around here so you can get one under the mixing table, two by the side, one by the bedroom and then you can even get a large box and a locker so there's quite a bit of storage. Going back out of the entrance, you have 360 degree peaks around the base and you can stop people from being pushed through by putting doors on the doorways. This is the floor print for the base. It does look rather big, but the initial starter only costs 250 wood and 1500 stone. So let's get into the building. The initial starter is two triangle foundations with a wall frame and three walls. Place your TC and a double door. It couldn't be more simple. You can either add a large box to the bottom of this with a furnace, or you can place boxes like this, but I'll leave the decorating up to you. Moving on to finishing the bottom floor and adding in the bunker. You build triangle foundations in a circle, build a square off of the second to last triangle foundation, add another triangle onto the square, and now build 14 more triangles out. Before you start deleting the triangles, make sure it is 15 out and it looks like this. Once you've added the square onto the end, delete all of the triangles, the square next to the base, and the middle triangle foundation. Now go back to the outer square and build squares all the way back to your base. Once you've built back to your base with squares, build two half walls. You can add a door frame to the right side and two full walls to the left. Next, add a triangle floor onto the two half walls and the two full walls. For the door frame on the right side of the base, add a triangle floor frame. Make sure to be behind the walls like I am when you are placing these floors. And this finishes the bunker. You can go up onto the roof and place a triangle floor on top of the triangle floor frame. To open the bunker, all you need to do is place a roof on top of this square. You then build walls around this, add a door frame and a door. Going back to the bottom floor, you add a triangle foundation outside of the door frame and wall it in. Add a couple of door frames, a half wall and a floor triangle. Now we can start to put down some items. You can place three furnaces in this lowered foundation here, add one furnace for the jump up, and now you can place small boxes in the surrounding area. Moving back to the other side of the base, we can start putting large boxes around the outside of the base. This will leave enough room for you to freely walk around the middle of the base. What I prefer to do is take out the triangle wooden floor Build a half wall. Pick up the furnace and the boxes. Place a window frame. And now you can put two large boxes down. You put one on top of the half wall and you put one on the floor here. This will leave space to put three shotgun traps underneath this half wall covered by the wall behind it.
There's enough space for the level 1 workbench on this triangle foundation here, and there's also plenty of room to put more boxes down. Now moving back outside, we've removed all of the squares except from the first one. Starting on the second floor, you had a double door frame here and surrounded by walls, add triangle roofs on top and to every roof except from this one here where we add a triangle floor frame. To make your roof access, you add a single door on this side, a double door on this side and a wall on this side. Add a double door and a single door. Going back inside. Add one wall frame here, a half wall and two floor triangles. Now we've made an extra loot room. You can put the large boxes like this. If you need help putting the small boxes down, you can add a floor triangle here to give you more room. add the door on and now it's secure. Add a wall frame and an extra door here. Then going back to our drop down you can build a floor triangle here and a floor triangle here to build your jump up to get roof access. It also gives you enough room to place two small boxes. Now I'd say it's about time to upgrade to a level 2. Go back downstairs, pick up the level 1, place your level 2, put a small box underneath it. Now we've got the level 2, you can probably make a vending machine. So pick up the furnace, the three small boxes, place a vending machine here, put the furnace back down and put one small box back next to it. Now you've got your level 2, you should have access to garage doors. So let's start swapping out our double doors for the garage doors. You can also upgrade around the TC and around the back walls on the ground floor. You don't have to pick these boxes up to upgrade the floor, you can go outside of the base and just upgrade the triangle foundation. Make sure to upgrade the roofs as well. As soon as you put a window on the TC, that is the first floor finished. Back on the second floor, let's start swapping out these double doors for garage doors. For the three garage doors that are next to the triangle floor frame, you need to make sure that the garage door clips outwards, otherwise you won't be able to get up later and you will get stuck on the garage doors. And to finish the second floor, place a triangle ladder hatch. If you make it so that the stairs fall this way, it can actually become a second bunker. Moving onto the last floor, surround the double doors and the main circle with walls. 
Add triangle roofs and block yourself in. Add wall frames to the next three triangle foundations and add on the garage doors. You can now have this as a bedroom. You can place a bed and a locker and a small box in this room. Next stop is the entrance. Build one square, then one triangle foundation off of this square. Build two triangle foundations either side of the triangle. Add a square onto either side of the square. Now add three triangle foundations to the side of the square. And now delete out these two triangle foundations. Come back to the center triangle and honeycomb it. Add outer walls to the square and the square behind. Add a half wall on top of this full wall and build a floor on top of the half wall. Add four walls to the other side. Once the floor has some stability, you can delete out the half wall you built and place a full wall instead. You can go back into the base, replace the double door entrance with a garage door, jump up onto this half floor and place a roof. You can use this for extra storage later on. And this is what it should look like at the moment. It does look a bit weird, but we just need to add some roofs and add some honeycomb. Start off by placing a triangle foundation here and then walling in this square. Next, you add three roofs onto these three foundations. And copy it for the other side. Base is starting to look a bit better, and this is what it should look like now. To build a jump up to get to the door, you can either place a floor triangle off of the wall we placed before, or you can place a furnace. Personally, I prefer the furnace. I would recommend upgrading these outer triangles to metal. You can wall them in as well. Now we just have the honeycomb and the peaks to build. Let's start with the honeycomb. Build a triangle floor and a wall of the triangle foundation we built earlier. And now we need to just honeycomb in the rest of the inner circle walls. After honeycomb in, the base should look like this. Now we just have the peaks left to build. You have to build these peaks in a certain order, so make sure you run the right way around the base. We start off with a square and a triangle floor. We then jump around the base, place another triangle floor and place a square facing towards the door. We then jump around the base again, place another triangle and place one square on either side of this. Next we place another floor triangle and a square facing towards the door. Then you want to place this triangle down, but don't place the square yet. Jump back in front of the doorway before you place the square down. Now run around the base and place doorways in these slots. Once done, add window frames to all of the outsides except for in front of the doorway where you want to add another doorway. And now you can place your roofs. Finally, we just want to put the last five doors down, add vertical embrasures, and the base is done. This is what it should look like from the outside. 
I'll leave the inside items and the decorating up to you guys and also the upgrading I'll leave to you. I'll show you now what I think would actually or what my preferred is. I leave all of this top out of ring as metal because you are taking heli, you don't want it to rock it through the stone. And I also upgrade this to metal as well, so it's just your bunker, just to make it 8 rockets rather than 4. So there's a lot of different things you could add to this base. You could add external TCs, you could add walls, you could add a furnace base to it, um, you could add an oil refinery to it. But I was just trying to take or show a base that you can take heli with. So I hope you like the video. If you did enjoy it and you want to see more Rust content, make sure to like, comment and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thanks for watching.